Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about Al Alessandro Costa versus Kevin Borges. Uh, Alessandro Costa 13 and 4, 3 and 2 in his last five fights, 1 and 2 in his last three, minus 140 favorite, 28 years old, 5 4, 67 inch reach. Fighting Kevin Borges, who's 9 and 2, 4 and 1 in his last five fights, plus 115. Uh, 26 years old, 5'5", five, five, with a 68-inch reach, 1 inch in height, and 1 inch in reach for Borges. Uh, this this is a very, very good opening fight for a pay-per-view. Simply because Kevin Borges' last fight against um, uh, uh, Joseph Van, no, Joshua Van, Joshua Van, yeah, Joshua Van. Um, and he hurt, he knocked down Joshua Van. He had good moments. His biggest issue was his cardio. So in a fight with uh, Costa, who's 1-2 in the UFC, though his debut was against Amir Albazi, and he got knocked out with an uppercut. Came back, fought Jimmy Flick, destroyed Jimmy Flick, which he should have. Jimmy's a great grappler, but not great on the feet. And his chin's weird. He's very hittable. Um, and then he lost to Steve Ursay. Did drop Steve, if I remember correctly. I'm pretty sure he dropped Steve. Um, and then couldn't really get himself off the cage. Steve uh, Ursay did. Who's actually challenging for the title on the same card. So, there's that. But, Borges in this matchup is going to be a faster guy. I don't. He's not going to hit harder. But his speed is going to be the biggest thing in this matchup. The thing that I don't like is Borges, when he gets tired, and he probably gets tired in this matchup because of his style, Costa hits hard. Costa's very, very good. Um, let's actually look up the uh, UFC stats because there's some, there's some good things that we should talk about on that at least. So... So, uh, strikes landed per minute, 3.75 for Costa, 5.4 for Kevin Borges. Striking accuracy is 46 to 41. Stripes absorbed per minute, 3.61 is 6.63. Defense is 56 to 49. And then you got all the takedown stuff. Takedown defense is 90 to 56. Um, the thing I want to see, actually, is when he fought Joshua Van. So, uh, let's do per round. So, the first round... Borges was 24 of 59 total strikes, 23 of 58 significant strikes. Um, second round, Borges was 27 of 74, uh, 0 for 3 for a takedown. In third round, he was 27 of 67. So we know he's right at that 27 mark. He doesn't get any higher than that. But if you look at it, he was 24 of 59 first, 27, 70, uh, 27 of 74, 27 of 67. So 39%, 36%, 38%. And he had about a minute and three, wait, he had 21 seconds of control time, did get a reverse, uh, was taken down twice, which is an issue when you're fighting a guy like Alexander Costa. So again, as the fight went, he started out very well. Joshua Van total was 165 of 311. First round, 20 of 42, 77 of 144, and then 68 of 125. The defense declined massively as the fight went on. So um, I, I really like Costa. I think he does some good things. Again, his power is his biggest asset in this matchup and his grappling. So I have Costa... Either a late finish or a decision for Alexandro Costa. And as always, guys, subscribe, like, comment. Let me know who you're picking. Let's talk about it. Peace.